Good afternoon everybody and welcome to another how-to video. Yeah, anyway, um, so here I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to use graphite. No, not graphite charcoal, excuse me. Um, anyway, so I simply had to do these two quick sketches of random character eyes just to show on uh, how um, I have a personal way of doing it. If you don't like my way, then I'm pretty sure you might like other people's way, like on other YouTube tutorials and whatnot. But if you like, um, you can simply enough just watch how on I do it. So let's get started. But first, I'm going to explain the type of charcoals there are, which I uh, will show here. I don't know if you can see this, but this is vine charcoal. And I've had this like when I was in... Um, college in Los Medanos because it was a requirement when I was taking intro to drawing so this is a good brand to use basically it's just burnt twigs if that's what vine charcoal really is and so it is <laughs> sorry about that and then this dirty little bag that you see here is known as compressed charcoal which is the thick kind let me just uh, pull out a bag to see you see it's pretty thick and it leaves a little bit of a mess if you can clearly see my fingers all dirty and such but yes this is compressed charcoal um, you use it for like let's say a background and you just use like a chamois and just smear it all in for a background like for the sky or anything of the sort you know to create more darkness and it's a pretty good tool to use and for this next one I um, never used it before but I it is a charcoal pencil, which is this little device right here. I've, again, I've never really used this before, but um, this is a 4B. And more likely, I'll be able to use this in this uh, video here, so hopefully, you'll stick around to see that. Anyway, um, ah, fingers are dirty. Dirty fingers. <laughs> anyway, um, let's just get on with the video now, shall we? Okay, so. Um, I'm gonna start off with the big eye first, because um, it has more space actually. For this um, smaller eye, I'll be able to do that afterwards. But for right now, so what you're gonna do is here is actually, uh, I'm gonna start off with the upper eye actually, with this to be a uh, charcoal heart. So what you're gonna do is just outline that and just create a little bit of darkness for the upper eye and then you're just gonna go on and just do a fanning motion for the rest of it of course you all seen the fanning motion when you do graphite or color pencil it works all the same just different colors actually um so here i go actually just doing that for the time by the way I actually got this yesterday when I was uh, visiting my auntie's house and my uncle just decided to give me this and he was like oh do you draw I was like yeah I do I do draw so other than that though um, I was happy because it came with this compressed charcoal and a kneaded eraser and also it comes with a, a sharpener and an e stomp. I will show you what that is if you have any questions about that later. Anyway, so here I am doing the fanning motion here as it creates darkness. And I just keep on going along with that just for the top area. Just make sure like if you really want to like really dark then you can use a different kind of charcoal if you like personally from my opinion I just it doesn't matter to me I either use vine or compressed but I just think this kind would be a lot more easier to use because it's thinner and slimmer and you can actually go through um, the smaller uh, looking lines because with compressed charcoal it just leaves like a huge amount of mess you know Anyway, so I'm gonna go around with this little white spot here 
I keep forgetting on what's it called, so if you know what it's called, then just please, by all means, remind me on what's it called. Anyway, um, so other than that, I'm going to start off with the iris right here, and just create a little circle right here, and I'll darken that up soon, like right here, just go on from the bottom right here and just do a little shading because that's what um, each iris is I have. It's black in the middle because that's where it mainly starts. I may be able to use a little bit of um, compressed charcoal if I find a smaller piece because I have like uh, different sizes of compressed charcoal. I have itty bitty ones and I have really thick square looking ones like the one that you just saw today so if I'm lucky I'll be able to find that and then if not I'll just uh, use vine charcoal which almost works the same as this one but I just think this one looks a little bit more professional anyway so here I am outlining this part of the eye and just going along with that I'm just doing my outlines so that's basically in what you do Really simple stuff, right? Right. So then I'm gonna go around the bottom, uh, the water line, I guess is what it's called, right? It's called a water line because you know, some girls put on eyeliner and they call it the water line. Anyway, um, then I'm going with the smaller lashes here from the bottom eye. They don't really necessarily have to be big unless. She has mascara or something. Anyway, so you just go on with the flicking motion with the bottom lashes. You can make them as large, you can make them as small as you can. It really, it's only up to you, honestly. Okay, so now that that's done, then I'm gonna start off with uh, the crease line. I think that's what it's called. Um, for those who know makeup or something, what is the name of this? Please let me know. <laughs> um, okay, so then I'm going to start off with the eyebrow right here, just outlining everything. And I'm just doing the outlines first before I start doing the shading. So then it'd be a lot simpler as it is. Okay, I'm going to add more outlining right here. And sometimes like in anime, they have like those little lines in the center of the eye, which I don't know what they're called. If you know, don't hesitate. Um, so just outlining those right here, just doing a little bit of little fanning motion again because, like I said, charcoal really makes a mess of things, but it's only depending on how you do it and such because, again, my fingers are getting dirty from this, so I have to be careful on how I do uh, the outlining, otherwise it'll start smearing the illustration. I mean. I don't know if you can see that, but a little bit smeared off a bit, so yeah. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna start doing uh, more outlining here in the big eye. And um, yeah, so that's one way of doing it, right? It's however you would like. I've only started off from here. And, uh, I'm gonna start using the by charcoal, Ooh, excuse me, um, right here, the one that I was showing earlier to see which would work best. And then I see the first piece right here. Okay, so I got this tiny little piece right here, so I'm just gonna start, um, gently doing a fanning motion right here with the vine, I mean, yeah, the vine charcoal. And then just do more of a flicking motion here. And I'm gonna gradually try to not go over the line or anything like that. And just um, be as careful as you can because then again the illustration might go messy and such. You just need to like have patience with that, you know. Um, so here I go, creating more darkness in the top, because it's 
how it normally goes. Alright, you see, so here we go. It's getting dark from the top. Now you can see that it's um it's going pretty well. Most of the time for Vine, uh you again you need to um be gentle by using this, you know. Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> It's okay. Just when it also comes to using this as well, you make a little bit of a mistake, just a wee bit. You just gotta make the lines a little bit thicker, you know? Okay, and then I'm gonna go back into using this so I can start outlining the eyebrow. And then I'm gonna use that same piece that I was using earlier. So that's one away. Um, then I'm gonna go back to adding more uh, depth in the eyebrow. So I'm gonna be doing that. And okay, that's right there. Also, when um, make sure you kind of blow away some of the little particles of charcoal because then it gets everywhere so that's why you gave it a good old blow I guess <laughs> okay so anyway um, I'm gonna use a little bit of the compressed charcoal I can, let's see if I can find a smaller piece I could. this one's fine so I'm gonna use this just to add a little bit of outline on the eyebrow to make it look a little bit thicker. Just a little bit. Because it looks a little bit thin to me. Just a little bit. Okay. And it just needs to be like a little bit gentle. Like I'm doing a flicking motion right here. And let's see, I'm gonna add like a little line right here. Mm. Probably just add like a little here. Okay, so um, I'm almost getting to where I need to uh, achieve with this. So, okay, so that's a little bit from there. And now, from what I was explaining earlier, that I'm gonna use an e stomp. So, I'm gonna be showing what that is. So this here is an e-stomp. It's what you use for graphite or for charcoal. It works pretty well. It's just make sure you gotta like clean it up and such because you see, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little bit black because I've been using it for the um, my art class back in um, when I was an intro like years ago. So I'm gonna use this and to just like hold it onto this as a pencil and just start um, giving it a good old fade going on here. That's what you do. And just blend that out, all of it. Just make sure you go around it, this area here. And then just kind of do a little brushing motion right here. That's what you do. And then if you want to, um, you can always do like this random flicking motion which you're all familiar with and just flick it downwards so it can make it look like it's part of the eye it's going on there and you just uh, yeah do also a circular motion too that's also helpful but I think you already knew that right right okay I'm gonna do a little bit here to do a little fade and do the same here and just simply slide it off here do like a little sliding motion as you can see the charcoal is getting a little bit softer too once I use this so yeah as you can clearly see that it's getting like that uh, um, the softer image that I'm trying to get I'm gonna use a little bit from here just a little bit here and then use a little bit for the brow right here and then just smoothen that out 
I mean, if you make any little mistakes from this, just make sure you use your uh, kneaded eraser and just quickly like dab onto it so it can prevent that. Kneaded eraser is helpful when you need to er um, erase like any little mistakes, of course. I mean, they're not that expensive. They're at least like either a dollar from anywhere, really. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little bit here on the water line. Just a little bit here. Okay, now it looks like she has like mascara. I mean, not mascara, eyeliner on. And then what I'm gonna do is just also do a circular motion right here outside her eye. And I'm gonna add a little bit of shade right here because that's where I'd um, want it to look because this is how it goes. Alright, as you can clearly see, this side is already done and now I'm gonna move on to the smaller eye because this is my way of doing uh, shading and if you think it was helpful, that's great. And um, then again, there's other tutorials if there's um, a different way that prefers you. So again, let me just get, um, get started with the other side. I'm gonna move this here. All right. Okay, so this is a smaller eye, and basically I'm just gonna do the same concept as I do um, as the other eye. So I'm gonna outline it first and just go um, from there. I'm just gonna do like smaller. It's not gonna be a lot like how I did with the other one. So I just follow with that. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm just gonna switch on to a different uh, hard charcoal. I'm gonna probably use a thicker one. Let's see, probably maybe a 4B. Let's see how that works. Use a 4B right now. Okay, so it's a little bit thicker and easier to use than the other one. The uh, 2B was going through the smaller lines, but I just want like a little sort of uh, thickness with the other one. So, again, I'm just only doing the outlining right now. I'm not gonna be too much. And then I'm gonna go on with the um, a little bit of the bottom lashes here. Don't worry, this one probably won't even look like she has a lot. And notice also that I've added some lashes on the smaller eye. Um, because this is more, I guess, a mature look. The other one was more of a child uh, looking eye. So this one I'm just gonna do a flicking motion. Again, with the lashes, it only depends on how you um, want the lashes long or short because each person's lashes are not like completely the same. They just go on with the um, with either long or short lashes. <laughs> anyway, so I'm doing my best over here, doing the flicking motion with the lashes, you know. Oh, now it looks like she has mascara. Ooh, I wonder what brand does she buy? Hmm, I don't know. Hey, so I get some makeup tips, yay! Not really. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of thickness around here on her eye. Just gonna do that. And probably just add like a little bit of a... What, what is it? A reflection? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Around her eye. So I'm just gonna add like at least a little bit right here on underneath her eye. Probably just probably just a little bit right here, just a little. And then again I'm adding more outline. So I'm probably gonna add like a little bit here. Just a little bit, because it's reflecting on her beautiful luscious eye. So Gorgeous. <laughs> it's okay. Um. Anyway, I'm still doing my outline right here. I'm just adding some more uh, 
depth here from this eye and then outlining the iris no I think from what I remember the pupil is this here the iris is the white now I remember and remember if I get any of this wrong just don't hesitate to tell me seriously I won't be upset <laughs> or will I <laughs> I don't know I'm just trying to create a little bit of humor while I do this so that way it doesn't have to look too boring it's kind of difficult for me to just uh, come up with things to say so my apologies folks anyway so going up here to her beautiful eyebrow with, with that luscious brow of hers how does she keep it so wonderful probably she just goes to uh, what are those things called I don't even know it's not even part of the video <laughs> um, so again just do a flicking motion and just do the best that you can that you think that is best Let's see uh, I'm gonna add like a little bit from here where the upper lid is Okay, let me just add a little bit here from the reflection. Alright, so you um, also got to like, know what kind would you really like, honestly. Let's see, let's just add like a little line here, shall we? To know where the, the darkest part is going to be at. So now I'm going to do a circular uh, motion right here because it's dark from the top where her top eye is right <laughs> um, I'm just gonna add like at least a little bit again I'm um, merely just I think I might add like a little bit of um, something as a matter of fact let me just go back in using the vine charcoal. So I'm gonna get like a longer piece. I'll just get, add like a little bit here because she's gonna have a little bit of eyeshadow going on. Just a little bit. Okay, just a few patches there. And now I'm gonna move on to using my e-stomp. Just do a circular motion because she has eyeshadow on. So that's this is my way of doing it, of shading. Again, it's however you would like to do it. This is my uh, version, in my opinion. So I hope this helped you. I'm only just going to do like a little bit here and okay I'm going to do a little bit of outlining here and here alright then so here is the final results I hope this tutorial helped you a lot and this is my way of doing uh, shading with graph <laughs> I keep forgetting it's charcoal it's because I'm so mixed up and so used to using graphite, so, so I'm all like, oh, this is how you do graphite, but no, this is my tutorial on how to use charcoal, and again, I hope this was a big help, and hopefully this is um, so